When we create a layout in Crystal Reports, we sometimes have to deal with nulls, database records with fields which never got filled in. If someone hasn't got a home phone, say, and deals with all their phone calls on their cell. But if a field is empty, sometimes we need to have that blank space not show. In this example, some of the states or provinces in the database were not filled in, or only one region had any data, or both. So to avoid redundancy or empty space, we can tell those sections of the report not to show if there isn't anything or enough to show. The data are grouped by country, region, and city. To selectively suppress the region grouping when there's nothing to show, we start by bringing up the section expert. We can go to the design tab and find group header number two here, the one we want to affect. Right click it and click on section expert in the pop-up menu. We need to have the second group header and footer suppress, but only if there are fewer than two regions per country in the database. That'll be our condition. That's the key thing. So we select group header number two. We go to the common tab on the right side of the window here, and we click not the check mark for suppress no drill down. We don't want it unconditional but the X2 button over here to bring up the formula workshop. Once we're in there, the function we need to use to look for the number of regions is called distinct count. So I'll put that function name in and the open paren. We're looking for regions with unique names and we want to count each one just once. The field we're going to check on this is the ship region field, which I can find up here in the list of fields already being used in the report. I give it a double click, let me type a comma. Then what we need to do is look for the regions by country. So the other thing that the distinct count function requires is the thing that encompasses the regions, in this case the country. Double click on that and close paren. But now we need to say, in essence, if there are fewer than two regions per country, we don't want the group header to show for that country. So we can type the less than and the two. It would make sense to set up the same condition for the matching group footer, because again, there'd be either redundant information or none. If we check the code by clicking on the check button here to make sure it's clean, and OK out of there, we can then copy the code, select it, and Control C or right click and copy, and then close the workshop for the header. We can then immediately go to group footer number two here and go through the same procedure. Go to the common tab on the right, not the check mark for suppress no drill down, but the formula workshop, a conditional suppression of a section. And all we have to do now, since we know the code is good, is to paste. Click on Save and Close, come back to the main box, and click OK. And when we preview, when we go back to our preview here, there we have it. Or rather, there we don't have it. Because the empty space and the redundant information is kept from appearing, and the report is somewhat cleaner to look at. We can also see, if we scroll down here to look at the data for Austria, there is no region to show. So all we get is the city of Graz. By suppressing group headers and footers in Crystal Reports, when they're redundant, we streamline the report. We make it simpler and remove unnecessary elements. Marking a blank page with the phrase, this page intentionally left blank, is sometimes required. But when we can simply cut out blank space, it saves time, paper, and confusion.